Hi, I'm James Brookson, your technical sales engineer and tech evangelist here at Onibex. And welcome to this demo of Onibex's One Connect, the ultimate tool for modernizing and simplifying your data integrations. Today, we'll dive into how One Connect transforms how we manage inserts, updates, and deletes, leveraging both batch and real-time processing between SAP and Databricks. This isn't just about moving data. It's about doing it smarter, faster, and without the traditional headache of middleware. With prepackaged entities and a robust data modeler, OneConnect ensures that you're set up for success from day one, empowering you to focus on what matters most, your data-driven goals. So let's get started. To get started, we need SAP and Databricks open and ready to go. From there, we can navigate to our OneConnect main transaction. And this is gonna be kind of the launch pad for a lot of the configurations you'll do for OneConnect in your SAP GUI. So from here, let's go ahead and select a prepackaged entity. We'll do invoices. With a double click of your mouse, the relevant information is instantly populated above. Additionally, we provide you with these prepackaged entities to eliminate the guesswork of setting up complex integrations, providing out of the box mappings for critical business areas like sales orders, invoices, and purchase orders, for example. This means that your team can start leveraging value from day one via our upload entities by Excel function without spending weeks trying to understand SAP's complexities. To learn more about uploading entities by Excel, check out our video, Entities from Scratch and Excel. Here's where the power of OneConnect truly shines, our data modeler. Once the entity is populated, we click Display and then Build Join. And this opens our low-code, no-code, drag-and-drop graphic interface. This data modeler allows you to visually map relationships between SAP tables. For example, you could drag the invoice header table and join it with the invoice item table. With this modeler, the relationships are established instantly. No manual coding required whatsoever. These visual relationships not only make modeling faster, but they also significantly reduce the risk of errors. Once we've built our table relationships, we'll save it, back out, and move to define table and column configurations. With a single click on column definition, OneConnect displays all the available fields for that entity. Adding a field is as simple as a double click. So say goodbye to having to manually write ABOP script to add your fields. And for those of you who are new to SAP, OneConnect automatically applies aliases to tables and fields, translating SAP technical jargon into business-friendly terms. This empowers teams across the organization, technical or not, to collaborate with this data integration. We are back in the OneConnect main transaction and our entity is populated in the fields above. Let's click Execute. And here's where we get to customize the format and the type of data that our downstream systems receive. For output type, you can choose between field name or field label. This is like choosing between the SAP technical jargon versus the business-friendly terminology. Next is output format. You have options including KDOC, table, or both. And for those who don't know, a KDOC is just like an IDOC, but optimized for Kafka. Lastly, we'll configure our endpoint and save. This flexibility ensures that your data integration pipeline meets the exact requirements of your business applications. Now, let's set the parameters to control which data we send. For this demo, I'll specify a billing document range of 1 to 100. It's easy to track and easy to verify. But batch processing allows you to extract and transfer exactly the data that you need when you need it. No more, no less. This level of precision is critical for maintaining efficient pipelines while minimizing overhead. With everything set, we can process the batch data. OneConnect offers two process options, online, execute immediately, or background, asynchronous processing. For this demo, I'll process it online and you'll see the requested information populate the screen. Now, let's go over to Databricks and check it out. Awesome, we're in Databricks and I'll run a simple query. Look at that, boom. Records one through 100 have landed perfectly aligned with the parameters we set in SAP. This is OneConnect's batch processing. It highlights our insert capability and it's optimized for simplicity, precision, and power. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it's the moment we've all been waiting for, real-time data. Let's get into it. So as we all know, real-time data starts at the source. So we're back in SAP and let's create a sales order. I'll go to VA01 to input some organizational information first. First off, we'll do order type of OR1, sales organization of 1710, and a distribution channel of 10. Next, let's click continue and fill out the details for the sales order itself. Here's where we'll input the key details for the sales order. For sold to party, we'll be doing USCS underscore S01. For customer reference test, given this is a demo, uh, materials and quantities next. We'll do TG11 with a quantity of 200 and TG12 with a quantity of six. Once everything's set, I'll save the order. And as you can see at the bottom of the screen, our sales order has been saved. Now that we're over in Databricks again, I'll run another query, but this time for real-time data. And boom, 
there it is. The sales role that we just created has already arrived in our database. This real-time flow ensures that your business has up to the minute data for decision making. But what happens if you need to adjust or fix the data? Well, no worries. OneConnect can correct. And that's where our updates and deletes come in. Let's see how OneConnect has our bag. We're back in SAP and we'll open up VA02, the change sales order transaction. The last order that we created automatically populates the field, but we can update it to adjust past orders too. We're back in the sales order now, and let's say we, for some reason, no longer need TG12 at all. Well, then select the entire row, click the delete button, and confirm the deletion, and boom, it's gone. But we're not done there. Let's clean up a little bit further. We realize we accidentally overordered on TG11 too. I'll change the quantity from 200 to 20, save the changes, and these updates and deletions are instantly reflected in both data sets, saving you the headache of handling data reconciliation. Once again, we've returned to Databricks and we'll run another query and check the results. Look closely this time. TG11 now shows a quantity of 20 and TG12 is completely removed. This seamless synchronization ensures that your data is always current, accurate, and aligned with your business needs. All right, folks, that's a wrap. We just showcased how OneConnect simplifies batch processing, real-time inserts, updates, and deletes while keeping Databricks and SAP perfectly in sync. Whether you're modernizing a data warehouse, optimizing your supply chain, or powering analytics, OneConnect delivers the real-time agility and control that you need to stay ahead. Are you ready to transform your data integration journey or learn more about our free 10 working hour proof of concept? If so, let's connect and don't forget to subscribe. I'll see you on the next one.